So, big news today. Well, I guess you could say it news, not big news, but it's something we've all kind of, well, some of us have thought about uh, ever since, you know, se uh, since season two of Arrow of when this character was going to make an appearance. So, yes, Connor Hawk, the son of Oliver Queen, will be appearing in Legends of Tomorrow. How do I feel about this? Well, honestly, I kind of dig Connor Hawk. He was a cool legacy character. Uh, the story behind him of being like this love child was pretty fun. It was between Shadow and yeah, originally he's the son of Shadow and Oliver, not this other random girl. But yeah, he is Connor Hawk is a very he's a very um, he was a very interesting character because he didn't want to follow in his dad's footsteps. He just kind of ended up that way. And he used... Re uh, originally, he was just using a regular bow and arrow for a while. And he even had a pretty good... Uh, I thought he had a pretty good relationship with Kyle Rayner, Green, uh, Green Lantern. I thought those two, when they had the Green Lantern and Green Arrow team going on, they had a lot of fun. But yeah, so, with Connor Hawk in this show, and he's been mentioned a few times over, especially, like, in the Flash, uh, the, the last year's uh, Flash and Arrow crossover, we've all been kind of wondering, are we going to see Connor Hawk in some form of this show? Are we going to see uh, him, you know, as a child? That's what a lot of pop people thought when they, you know, when they kind of got the, you know, put two and two together. Are we going to see him as a kid? And then, oh, here he is. So, my thought, since he's showing up in Legend of Tomorrow, and Legend of Tomorrow is dealing with a lot of time travel, we're going to go to the far future and see the arrow of the future, Connor, who is going to be Connor Hawk. Now, the big question remains in this uh, storyline is, like, is what kind of person is Connor going to be? What kind of person is he going to be like as the arrow? Is he going to be as vi uh, violent as Oliver was in season one? Is he going to be you know, a little more different. Because here's the thing, Connor was so much different from Oliver because he didn't want to be in his father's shadow. He never really... He did have the training, but he never really wanted to be the Green Arrow per se. He just kind of got that by, you know, got that by hearsay because, well, his dad was Green Arrow, so now he has to do it. There's even a fun moment in here where he, you know, he just kind of in Justice League in the Grant Morrison run where he's... Um, he has to rescue the Justice League from this villain called the Key, who is uh, who's captured the Justice League, and he's uh, and he's like he actually takes some bow and arrows from you know Oliver's room. At, this is when Oliver passed away uh, before Hal Jordan resurrected him as Parallax. So he takes the bo a boxing glove arrow, and he's like, "Boxing glove arrow, really, Dad?" <laughs> and that was the thing. He was kind. Of, the cool thing about Connor was that he was a very he was very much like what Jason he's kind of like Jason Todd if Jason Todd you know knew when to pull back he was a very smart aleck kind of character he did, he was a little rough but he wasn't he didn't go the extra mile he did have that killer you know killer instinct in him because of who his mother was but he never went the extra mile of I'm gonna and kill you he wanted to a few times but he never wanted to be you know he never <laughs> He never wanted to be like that, and he always knew when to pull back. And it was always kind of fun to see him and Dinah in interact because, it, for a time, Dinah was his stepmother. You know, during that time period when Oliver and and, Di and uh, Dinah, you know, Black Canary married. So for a while, and I actually kind of dug the interaction between the two because she kind of, she was like, "Oh, you're you know Oliver's love child from another woman." All right. For a while, they were kind of awkward, but then they they grew to, grew to love each other. Because then, you know, her and Connor became, you know, fought. You know, she it was technically her stepchild. So, yeah. <laughs> but getting back to this, you know, all, I think yeah, we are going to see all. You know, Connor as uh, the you know Green Arrow of his timeline. We're going to see him in the future fighting in Star City whatever it looks like. It's probably knowing DC, it's going to look dystopian for some reason, and Connor's going to be... It's probably going to be something with Evandal Savage, that he's destroyed Star City in the future, and now Connor Hawk has become, you know, taken on his father's mantle, and is now fighting. Maybe even have Old Man Dig. Like, oh, yeah, Old Man Dig train... Yeah, Old Man Diggle train him. That'd be awesome. Just call him... Not even, D like, John Diggle. Just call him Old Man Diggle. <laughs> But yeah, have uh, Diggle train him. Um, 
He's now, you know, on his own. He's kind of on his own. He doesn't really have an Arrow family. His, you know, his aunt, you know, his aunt Thea went crazy. They had to put her down. Uh, Felicity, screw her. You know, she's dead. Everyone's dead, but him and 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 a very downtrodden Diggle, who's like in a like have him as a in a wheelchair. He's like he can't. And now he has to take on Felicity's job. Something like that. That's how I kind of would have it with him. Is that he's been, you know, more or less raised by John Diggle more than Oliver, who I guess was killed by Vandal in this in a future timeline. At least that's how I would do it. But here's the big thing. What if it, uh, Connor travels to the future? What if he actually meets Oliver in the present time? Because C Oliver does not know. He thought the baby died. He thought he he thought the woman he impregnated had a miscarriage. And that was it. She, he, you remember, um, his Oliver's mother paid her off to go live in Central City with enough money for her, you know, for the child. And he, he just ran into her last year. He doesn't even know about it. So, what if they do like the whole trunks thing, where he, tra you know, where Connor has to travel back to the present time, meets Oliver, and he's like, "Oh my God, Dad." <laughs> So that would be, I think, if anything, because again, I'm a very hit and miss with Arrow, you know, obviously since season three. Season four's had its good moments here and there, but it's still like, uh, I don't care fully. I care more about it than, you know, than I did last season, but that's not saying much. But if anything, I would love to see Oliver and Connor meet, and especially, you know, obviously it's going to be a shit show when, uh, you know, Felicity's like, you kept this secret from me, and he's like, I didn't even know he, you know, he was dead. You should have told me you had sex with another woman. I've had sex with a lot of women. You know, obviously Felicity's going to make a gigantic deal. Everyone's going to make a gigantic deal of, oh, it's Oliver's son. You kept another secret, even though we keep secrets constantly in this goddamn show! Ugh. Ugh. You see, that's the big problem, and I'm pretty sure, I've, and I know I've said this before, every time they say no more secrets... Ten other secrets show up. I've talked about this before. It's all, it's almost like the show is becoming self-aware. But yeah, I'm just really excited because this again, this is a character I think we've all kind of wanted to see at one point or another. So I'm kind of interested when he shows up in Legends of Tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be pretty good. And again, I'm actually I'm also kind of hoping the costume looks like this, the image you're seeing right here. Um, because I don't want it to be like a, like he's just wearing, you know, Oliver's costume, you know, in honor of his father. I want to have, a, like, its own, like, its own identity. Because that's the thing. He never, you know, he originally never wanted to be Green Arrow. But anyway, so, you guys tell me. What do you guys think of Connor Hawk showing up in Legends of Tomorrow? Uh, do you guys want, you know, what kind of costume do you want to see him in? What kind of story do you think they'll do with him? And do you want to see him meet Oliver in Team Arrow sometime in the future, if he ever time travels and meets, you know, present Oliver? So once again, hope you all enjoyed this. Just comment below, let me know. And, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this little, uh, vid of mine, and I will see you guys later.